guys, what is up? We are back with another video. Let's just get right into it. So, oh, I decided to do a story time. Um, a lot of people have been requesting this. And if y'all have me on my Snapchat, I did do a little mini story time on this story. So basically, this is <laughs> the story of when I was supposed to go on a date and then my car exploded. Not really exploded, it started small. Let's just get right into it. So I was, so I live on one side of my city and I was trying to get on the other side of my city. And there was like the air show going on. So it was like super busy on the side of the city that I was trying to get to. And <laughs> So I didn't know that though. So I drove on the interstate and then I got off the interstate and then it was completely backed up traffic. It was probably like 90 degrees. It was like a pretty hot day and like I didn't have water in my car. My AC does not work in my car. So keep this in mind. I am dying. We are not moving at fucking all like driving. We're just not. We're not fucking driving. We're just sitting on the fucking street, not driving. I'm just, and I'm feeling bad. I'm like texting this boy like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's gonna take me a second to get there. Um, and so, you know, we were in stop traffic or whatever. And so then I get to the point where I need to make a left. And there's like cops and shit, like doing the lights. It's like, um. Why can't you just let the traffic lights do it? You don't need to be doing this right now. So they told me I could not turn left. So I'm sitting there like, what the fuck? How am I going to get here? I was trying to go to Collectivo, a coffee shop. Cute little coffee date. Nope. The odds were against me on this day. So then she was like, oh yeah, you can't turn left. Like you have to go straight, which straight is way more traffic. It's like, it'll get me there if I go straight, but it's, it's a detour obviously and so um I'm going straight and all of a sudden my heat starts rising in my car and I'm just like okay great like you know what that means gotta pull over start smoking I'm not knowledgeable on cars personally um so I pull over and by the way there's still like stop traffic like we're not fucking moving like bumper to bumper type shit and so I moved over and um like, I pulled over kind of bad. Like, I was, like, low-key half on the side of the road, half in the road. It was bad. And then, um, so my car, like, I turned it off. And I was just like, okay, well, I don't really know what to do. So I'm just going to sit on the side of the fucking curb. So I get out of my, because it's hot as hell. I'm not going to sit in my hot-ass car. And so I'm just, like, sitting on the curb. Like, I called my mom. I was like, I really, really don't know what to do. Like, you can't really pick me up because like it's gonna take you like an hour and a half to get to me with this traffic like it's just looking dark for me and like can't call an uber like it's gonna take too long and so like i'm texting this guy i'm like i'm so sorry like literally my car like started smoking oh i'm gonna get to you he was so nice about it he was just like like offered to like come get me and like wait and like it was so sweet like seriously shout out and so i'm like as i'm sitting on the side of the curb and stuff like these like five guys start to like walk up to me and um so where i am like the beach is not far from where i had to pull over so they were like coming from the beach and like they had their coolers and stuff all their like beach stuff and so they like walk up to me they're like oh like how's your morning going and i was like um the best it can be like my car just exploded exploded started smoking and um i was like yeah I, like i don't really know what to do and they were like oh my god like we're engineer majors let us help you and i was like oh my god okay like i have hope like god is here hallelujah and so they like lifted up my the hood of my car and you know they started like talking amongst each other about a bunch of car talk you know throwing in some vocab don't like don't know what the fuck they're talking about at this point 
and the guy was like the main guy who was like talking to me he was like oh like let's push your car to the side of the road because you're like half in the street half to the curtain. I was like yeah that's probably a good idea so like I get in my car put it in neutral and then the guys start start you know pushing my car to the side of the road and I'm like oh my god that was so nice like thank you like there's not much you guys can do now like you know and they were like oh like I see you're like going towards campus like do you go to the university like in our city and I was like no like I'm going in the fall though like I'll be a freshman and then they were like oh like we're seniors we're from like the biggest frat on campus and I'm just sitting here like like I've heard stories about um, people getting roofied at frat parties you know not not safe all the time so I was just like mm, whatever and I was just like oh geez here we go and then he asked me for my number. Well, no, he said, we're having a party tonight. Like, do you want to come? And I was like, um, I don't think I can. Like my car just, you know, exploded. And he's like, let me give you my number. Or I'll text you the address just in case like you decide to come. And so he texts me later the address and he's like, oh, I hope you can come anyway. That's past that. So then like, his friend was like, oh, like, you, you know, you just helped her so you could get her number. I was like, guys, let's be better. Like, come on. So, at this point, I was like, okay, well, that was a waste of my time. Like, what? Okay, and then, so I ne moral of the story is I never got to the fucking date, which made me so sad. Like, he bought my drink and everything, and I was not there. Like, the odds were against me that day. Never went to that frat party. And like the entire time, like I was texting this boy, I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, he's not gonna fucking believe me that my car like exploded. Like what are the odds of that happening? Like I was scared that he like wasn't gonna believe me. But he did, shout out to you because I was so worried. Like I was like, oh my God, like I wanted to go on this date but my car fucked up. Why? But yeah, like, so, at the end, my mom ended up picking me up, and it took a while, but <laughs> we made it, and I never ended up making it to that date that day, but we got, we had a date the next day, or a couple days later, I don't remember, but yeah, so, <laughs> moral, moral of the story, everything did end up okay, the date was successful, um, but, on the other note, literally, like, a week later, my car did the same thing again, but on the freeway! Thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in for more story times. Comment if you want any like makeup tutorials, maybe like a dorm tour coming because as you can see, I still have all my dorm supplies up here. So let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.